In 2 Samuel 13, we begin to see some of the gut-wrenching family dynamics that will come into David's life as the result of his sin with Bathsheba. And it brings to light a life lesson that can be a hard pill to swallow for many of us, myself included. In the previous chapter, we're told that David confessed his sin and that God forgave his sin. But even so, there were consequences that David would have to suffer because of his sin. And the ensuing scandal inside Israel's royal family is part of that. Here's what happened. David's daughter Tamar was raped and then cast aside by her brother. It's a perverse sin that destroyed a young woman's life. But none of the men in the royal family, including King David himself, responded in a godly way. Ammon, the offender, could have chosen to act honorably, taking Tamar as his wife. Instead, he just took her, and then he discarded her in hatred when he was done. Jonadab, the instigator, used his street smarts and his shrewdness to launch the plot. Absalom, while he shows compassion and caring for his sister, allows his bitterness to fester, leading to the murder of his half-brother and eventually his own demise. And then there's David, who, paralyzed by the shame of his own scandal, just watches as his family falls apart. It's a tragic story to be sure, but it's here in the pages of Scripture for a reason. What's the reason? Well, I believe it's here to show God's faithfulness in spite of our sin. David sinned against the Lord, and he endured the consequences of it. But even so, God was faithful to preserve David's rule in Israel and to continue a season of peace and prosperity through the reign of his son Solomon. In our lives, sin can and very often does result in painful consequences. But even so, God provided us a Savior. And because of Jesus, we can still experience His place of favor now and the hope of heaven in our future. As we read 2 Samuel chapter 13 today, let's give thanks to God for His faithful love for us.